Hello, hello. Uh, ben here with another Mysterious Space update. I believe I'm about ready to release a new version. Version That'll be version 0.2.4. Uh, there's another big thing I'm trying to get done, uh, but the weekend is only just beginning. It is kind of Monday. It's 3.30 a.m., so it's technically Saturday, but I've got the whole weekend ahead of me. It'll be great. I'm going to finish up this thing and uh, get a version out to you. So the thing that's not done... I'm not going to tell you yet. I'll tell you as I as I show you new things. Uh, so first of all, debug mode is on because I've also added some new shields that I want to show you. Um, and actually, I should demo the high scores because I failed to do that in the last update. It's very uninteresting high score table. Uh, but anyway, so we can we can see the high scores. Uh, there's some information missing here that I would like to add. Uh, it is stored in the high score table, just not displayed. I would like a little icon for when you have found the information at the end and in on your way back, so basically halfway through the level, and then another icon for when you actually beat the game. If it's a if it's a game that won, you know, that should get a special marker. Um, something that's not documented, but I'll tell you now. If you hit tab or the left or right triggers or buttons on your uh, controller, gamepad, whatever, then you'll get this little chart uh, that looks really bad right now. There's something else I need to finish up, and I might not bother. More reason not to document it. Uh, it needs lines connecting these points. Uh, but anyway, it's it shows your score over time, and, and this is in chronological order. Your um, high score table is, of course, in order by high score, and then the last 100 entries are here. And it actually has to keep two copies of the list in order to do this, because this needs to be the latest 100, not just this, whereas the, the high score list keeps 100 scores, but it's going to be your 100 best scores, so it's possible you get a score so bad that it's not you know, your 101st score isn't... Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? So anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, this thing's not done. The reason I made it, actually, is that at work, we needed to do some exponential moving averages, and my boss and I were... He doesn't like when I call him my boss, but whatever. Uh, he, we were looking at code, um, trying to... We, we need to do exponential moving averages, and we didn't know how, the math. So we looked on Wikipedia, and it was easier than Wikipedia made it look. And then after all that, I found that PHP has it built in. Whatever. Uh, so anyway, but I wanted to learn the math, so I went ahead and coded it for the high score feature. So now Mysterious Space gets it. Wonderful. Let's jump into the game. Uh, let's name our ship. I don't know. I always do fruit names. I'm going to... But see, now I'm like, what am I going to call it besides banana? Dirt, because it's brown. Oh, we're just going to go for banana. Banana's great. So here we go. Here's a, a sort of introductory text. I don't remember if it was in the last update where there was some sort of introductory text that told you, hey, you got to get three fuel. I redid it, uh, and I redid it because I also want to make a tutorial. Um, and, and in the tutorial, I thought, hey, the ship's computer should talk to you. And I thought, oh, man, if the ship's computer is a thing that talks to you, then then we, you know, it can be a character kind of in the game. And, and so here's the ship's computer again. Uh, and I don't know, I'm kind of proud of that. I mean, I, my art skills aren't necessarily super great, but the animation... You know, she randomly blinks and moves her mouth, and it's changing between four frames of animation with all this random nonsense to keep track of. Has she got her mouth open? Is she blinking? Like, it's kind of silly to, to make a simulation just for that, but uh, the effect is good, so I like it. Uh, when I look at her jaw moving too much, it looks really silly, but that's against the art skill part. Anyway, so here we go. Um, basically, this is telling you how to play the game. Uh, the important part is at the very end, which is maybe a bad idea, but you need to collect three fuel from a planet in each sector before returning to space. I say a bad idea because after people read too much text, their eyes glaze over and they press enter until it goes away and then they don't read anything. Uh, but it's only going to pop up the very first time you play, um, or you can re-enable it in the options, and, and I might as well show you that right now. You can go into settings and you can tell it, oh wait, no, I want to be offered the tutorial, and then you will on the next game. So the tutorial is also going to include, this is the big thing I haven't done yet, and I've started code, but it's not quite there. Uh, it'll be a little thing where the computer's like, you know, hello, Captain, you know, sorry to wake you, this is a, a, a routine, you know, checking on status. Uh, no, you know, nothing indicates any that, that there's anything wrong with, with the systems, but how are you feeling, blah, blah, blah. Uh, before you go back to sleep, would you like to do some exercises? Uh, and if you say yes, then you're basically accepting the tutorial. If you say no, then you're, you're pulled in here. And again, that will only come up on your first game, uh, but if you delete the settings file, then it, which you will probably have to do every time there's a new version, then it will present you that again, but I want to make it as quick to, to get through, because I know that people who've already played don't, don't need any of that. Uh, so I'm trying to be conscious of that. Uh, 
Uh, so anyway, uh, let's equip some new shields. And this is what debugging mode is for. Hopefully it gave us a scatter shield, which was in the game, I believe, last update, but I made that same stupid error I made for armor, like, versions ago, where it wasn't just wasn't being generated. Um, so I have also added hard shields, which, like armor, have this resist 50% damage resulting from, uh, from collisions. And I also made soft shields... And do I have any here? So soft shields uh, resist 50% of bullet damage, but they don't resist uh, collision damage at all. If you take collision damage, it just skips your shields entirely and goes to armor and heal hole. So that's bad. Um, and I don't know. I think that's kind of interesting. I, I don't know. I'll be curious to see how it actually plays out. I haven't really experimented with, with either shield very much. Uh, but let's go ahead and try the scatter shield. Is there any interesting... I don't know. These fragmenting guns are always fun. Excuse me. Uh, and let's jump into an ocean world, because I have actually done some little tweaks. And the little tweaks are super minor. So let's get hit. Okay, it's possible that bullet was too weak. Let's see if we can get hit by something bigger. Boom, there we go. So when you take damage uh, from any source, you shoot little bullets out in random directions. And it's possible I may need to tweak this. Um, yeah, that just isn't enough. And these guys don't do anything, so they're not going to cause me to scatter at all. Um... Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I may work on this more. See, that was a lot of bolts, because that was a lot of damage. So the idea is that when things hit you, 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 you whatever, however much damage you took, you shoot off in bullets in, in crazy random directions. And uh, that, that will probably require some tweaking. I wasn't very happy with what I saw just then. I've been tweaking with it this whole time, and I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll just do a demo, even though it's not perfect yet. Um, but, so, you see the idea. And again, hard shields and soft shields are also in there. So, I believe I've covered everything. Uh, again, I'm going to continue to work on this on the weekend, get that tutorial sequence in, and then I'm probably going to release. I know I've always said I want a new enemy in every every update, but I don't think I'm going to do the enemy just because the whole introduction thing and and the high scores, it was, it was all a lot, and, and rather than make people wait more, uh, I would rather just get a version out. So... Version 0.2.4 should definitely be out this weekend unless something crazy happens. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm done. There's no reason to continue rambling and no reason to keep me up any later because, yeah, 3.30. So uh, good night and thank you for listening.